Sarah, this was such an incredible performance, gut-wrenching. But let's start off with something light, the white ribbon around your neck. Mm -hmm. It was such a symbol of innocence. Talk about what it meant to you and if it helped you. Were you instrumental in, in choosing it? I'm so glad that you brought that up because it's not something I get to speak about often, but something that was so grounding for me in the filming of the movie. I feel like the white ribbon around Emily's neck is such a great way to track her journey and watch how she ages and changes throughout the film and how it starts off as this symbol of innocence and then becomes the ribbon that they're tying themselves up with before they shoot up with heroin. Every time I grabbed that ribbon, it felt like I was reminded of who Emily is at her core and who she was and who she was striving to be. So it was extremely important for me throughout the film. The journey that you and Tom go on um, is gut-wrenching. It's the only word for it. Mm -hmm. How did the two of you connect? Did you have to spend time together beforehand to get that intimacy? The journey of Emily and Cherry was, it's an extraordinarily taxing, taxing journey. Um, so I couldn't have asked for a better partner than Tom. I was so lucky that the Russo brothers brought us in early enough that we were able to have plenty of time to sit down and get to know each other before we started filming. I um, spoke about this a little bit before. I'm sure you remember. I had the chance to go over to Tom's house and it was freezing cold outside, but we still sat outside on his patio and we were wrapped up in blankets and we had our tea and we just sat there and we talked for hours and then we went inside and we watched a film. And I really do believe that having that chance to get to know each other as people and build that foundation allowed me to go to bring the level of vulnerability and hurt and fear that was necessary to tell Emily's story right. One of the things that struck me about the character, um, she throws herself into love, but initially she runs from it. So mm -hmm. I was wondering, do you run toward things that scare you or run away from them? And what's your idea of love? I mean, I'm an actor, so I'm a masochist through and through. If I see something terrifying, you better believe I'm going to charge out of full force until I can tackle it and handle it well. <laughs> um, coming into this film, I mean, we're telling so many different stories in once, right? It's six chapters. We filmed it as three completely separate movies. And I feel like each section... Each section had its own challenges. So we started first with shooting a drug film and it's us on heroin. I mean, we're in the height of the emotional journey of this movie. The stakes are through the roof, right? And so I felt like it was nice to start with that at the beginning because we'd done all of our research. I was lucky enough to um, be connected with a friend at the uh, rehab facility in Cleveland who allowed me to speak to so many courageous people there who are currently battling that beast that is addiction. But there's one nurse in particular that I spoke to who um, has a similar journey to Emily's. And in hearing her story, I was able to find all these intricacies and all of these details that I hadn't noticed before that I could sprinkle in and, and add more depth. And for that, I'm extraordinarily grateful. It made taking on all of these beasts that we tackle in this film, all of these different struggles, so much less scary. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you being here. Thank you very much for taking the time. Thank you. Stay safe, stay healthy. Have a great day.